So, hello, I'm Ron Charles. Surely you must know me as the epic hero of the book world. This week's book tells a fascinating tale from the dawn of Anglo-Saxon history. It's about... <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh. Oh. It's been happening every night lately. This week's book is The Mere Wife by Maria Devana Headley. Now, ladies, I'm afraid that condescending title says it all. This is a Ron, what? Wait. What? The title is not condescending. It's a pun on the word mere, which also means lake. The lake wife? You know, because the novel is a modern-day feminist revision of Beowulf, and Grendel's mother lives in a lake. Oh, yeah, right. As my more sophisticated readers will realize, The Mere Wife is based on an ancient cartoon starring Angelina Jolie as a lake-dwelling monster who possesses untold riches but can't afford any clothing. Unfortunately, The Mere Wife doesn't stick too closely to the original cartoon. It takes place in a gated community called Herrett Hall, where a wealthy plastic surgeon and his uptight wife entertain their viciously competitive friends. Little do they know, a traumatized female vet is holed up in the mountain behind their palatial home with her little boy named Gren. When Gren spots another little boy down at Herrett Hall, he can't resist wandering off to meet him. And that's when the queen of Herrett Hall discovers an intruder has launched a gruesome attack on her home. Who can save Herod Hall from this homeless woman and her monstrous little boy? All hail Ben Wolf, a local policeman who's been waiting a long time to be a hero. If Ben Wolf can vanquish Gran and his mother, poets will sing of his glory forever. It's a bloodthirsty conflict full of all the gore and conflict of the ancient anglo saxophone culture. You didn't actually read Seamus Haney's Beowulf, did you? Well, I tried to, but every other page was just gibberish. That's the old English version. Oh. Hello, ladies. Look at your epic. Now back to mine. Now back to your epic. Now back to mine. Sadly, it isn't mine. But if it switched to Old English, it could sound like it's mine. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the book your epic could sound like. Anything is possible when your epic sounds like Old English. I'm on a dragon. Why do they let you keep doing this? That's it for now, brave readers. I'm Ron Charles for the Totally Hip Video Book Review.